Many people ask me about how to buy gold for investment purposes just like this. If you wish to know, save this video for future reference and let's get into it. Hi there friends, thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Session. I'm going to share with you what are the things to look for when you want to start your goal savings and goal investment uh, journey. So in this case, definitely uh, the easiest thing that we can do is to purchase our gold, right? But this is where many people, they fall into the trap because when they go and buy the gold items from usually the local gold shops, they ended up paying so much money upfront, right? So here in the book, The Bonafide Money, which I was very blessed to write together with my mentor, I basically have described five criteria that we should take note before we begin our goal savings and goal investment journey. The first criteria is definitely the price per gram. So as the name implies, the, we definitely want to buy gold where the price per gram is cheaper compared to the local gold shop. The second criteria would be the spread margin. The spread margin is basically the difference between the buying price and also the selling price. The smaller the spread margin, the better. So do this homework before you purchase any gold items out there. The third criteria is basically talking about the availability of the gold items. This is because many places, they may not have the item in their possession. So ideally, you want to buy at a place where the stocks are readily available. Next would be the uh, availability of the branch offices of this particular service provider. Like for instance, Public Gold, we have over 18 branch offices all over Malaysia. And for us who are keen to do any sort of transactions such as collection of gold items or to do our selling and so on, then having this number of branch offices would be very useful. And last but not the least would be the buyback requirement. This is where many people, they tend to overlook they just buy gold considering the price is cheaper but only to know when they want to sell the gold back in the future they are not able to do so therefore before you purchase the gold item ask them how easy it is for you to do the buyback how easy it is for you to sell back your gold items so in total there are five criteria that we should analyze as a package so from these five criteria it is ideal to analyze this as a package that means look at all these five criteria, not just focusing on one, on one or two criteria in isolation. This is the kind of knowledge that we share here in Publigo because we believe that with the right know-how, losing money is very difficult. By the way, my name is Narish and I am your gold buddy.